Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So, so I'm just saying get up and make a video right now. Um, if y'all hear a little noise in the background, I'm cooking dinner right now while I'm talking to y'all. So, just excuse all the background noise. I may put some music over it so it can just kind of lean out the background noise. But basically, having some tea right now. I don't know why, but I've just been feeling like really just feeling sick a lot like just feeling nauseous since you are under a spiritual attack i made a video about this a long time ago but i'm just kind of make an updated version of it because it's like different levels of spiritual attack and so i'm going to explain it from a biblical sense and a worldly kind of sense and hopefully y'all following me with this message but basically when you're constantly feeling sick all the time and you don't know why that could be a huge sign of spiritual attack See, i'm sitting up here having some lemon jasmine tea right now and so that usually settles me a lot of times when i am like feeling queasy and sick and stuff like that what i want to talk about is basically we are living in biblical times right now okay these are biblical times in the modern day if y'all ever went to sunday school now i went to sunday school faithfully my grandmother made sure i did not miss a day of sunday school okay but if y'all ever went to sunday school and y'all like you know we had bible study and bible tests and things like that you know everything was basically biblical like you're learning about the bible you're reading different chapters and verses and just kind of studying over what you read and basically from what i have noticed like and let me just say this i do not pick up my bible a lot i really don't i'm gonna come on here and be straight up real and honest with you i'm not gonna be coming on here faking or none of that type of stuff i do not pick up my bible a lot <laughs> there are tons of things that i remember from going to church as a little girl those things will always stick with me it will never go nowhere i feel like the lord has been embedded in me since I was a child, you know, I never really felt like I needed to pick up a Bible to feel closer to him or pick up a Bible in order for me to come on here and spread knowledge. I like to talk about the Lord in the everyday things we go through on a day to day basis kind of sense. This ain't really me coming down on nobody like that because everybody has their own method in the way that they do things. But really, when somebody is coming to you to quote things from Bibles and things like that, they may not be coming with the right intentions, okay? Because like I said, there's a lot of people out here just proclaiming to be saved, proclaiming to be a believer in the Lord and stuff like that when really it's something totally different. So now it's to the point where you can't even believe what people say no more, really. Somebody picking up a Bible, you really don't know if this person has um, the right spirit. You don't know if you want to take guidance from this person or none of that type of stuff. You know, I'm not coming on here to give y'all no guidance either. These are just my opinions and my personal experiences of how I'm seeing everything, you know, with the spiritual warfare. We are really literally living in biblical times. The Bible, everything that we learned in Bible study is playing out in today's day, okay? It's tons of division. I really do honestly feel like we are living in our last days just because everything that we are coming up against with the spiritual warfare. If you're getting attacks from every different direction of your life, then we are definitely living in those times and when i used to hear that type of stuff back in the day like we are living in a time we are living in last days and things like that and the world is going to be over with in the millennium 2000s and stuff like that we was all trying to figure out what was going to happen on new year start what we going to all be poof be gone type of thing and i never believed that type of thing back in the day because i was young you know how we young we really don't know much and we never really know the seriousness of how bible was back in the day we used to be going to church bored out our man you know just kind of ready for bible study and church to be all the way but really the bible is powerful like everything that we have ever read and learned about in the bible is what we are going through right now basically i never really believed it as i was younger i was still kind of ignorant to knowledge so if you see that you are coming up against things when it comes to your professional life your personal life your home life you know it can be spiritual attacks, trying to attack the relationship between your children. In the last days, it's going to be mothers against daughters, sons against fathers, all that type of stuff. So if you're seeing that it's a great deal of division and um, conflict in your household, and it just seems like it's at a intense kind of level where you just really don't know where it's coming from, it, it's the devil trying to have an open way in a portal into your home, to corrupt the environment in your home. And so that's something that you need to consider too when it comes to knowing whether you are under spiritual attack or not and basically what i want to talk about is everything now today is based mainly around your beliefs okay at the end of the day it's all about god that's what it really all boils down to everything that we are ever everything that we are up against out here 
everything always comes back to God. Okay. How strong is your faith and belief in the Lord? How much faith do you have in him really? Because we really are living in hard times right now. Times are really tough. That's why so many people out here looking to others for answers. They're going through so many problems and they seem, they feel like this person is going to be able to see them through that situation. Fix the situation. You got these fix it kind of message. Oh, come fix it for me. When people spilling their problems online to people. That's another way to be chewed up and spit out out here is getting online and telling people everything. We all seem to be going through the same thing. Okay toxic family toxic relationships all that type of stuff all of us are going through the same thing and that's the trick of the enemy the enemy will come and make you believe that you are so different from everybody else like your situation is way different okay you are the only person that's out here going through this and they are coming with a solution for you okay they are going to be able to fix this the problem when really you ain't in this alone, all of us is in this battle together. All of us is going through it. So there's no way that you should be feeling like, oh, this person got all the answers. It seems like their life is just perfect. I see how they live and I see how they move. Let me just get some confirmation from them. Let me just get an answer from them. Really? You got to stop going to others and start to look from within. Look from within. And, and it's really hard. Okay, especially these times we live in with social media, it's really hard to look from within and to go to the Lord himself when you got so many different people talking in your ear. It's just like being in a crowded room and it's a whole bunch of people talking all at once and you so distracted you can't even focus on the main purpose of why you are there. You can't even focus on, let's say for instance, they got a speaker up there, okay? Let's say the speaker is the Lord himself, okay? We're going to use the Lord. We ain't putting man before God, okay? Not up on this channel. We ain't, never, we ain't coming on here putting man before God. Let's say God is the public speaker, okay? He getting up there to give a speech. And it's a whole bunch of people in the room just talking all at once. And you trying to focus on the message. You trying to hear what the Lord is trying to tell you. But you got so many different people talking to you at one time. You can't. You distract it. You got noises in this ear. You got noises coming from one side of the room. Then you got noises coming from the other side of the room. You got noise in front of you. Noise in back of you. And the Lord just standing there like, the Lord is talking to you. The Lord's voice is loud. See, that's the thing. The Lord's voice will always surpass all the noise okay that is how you're gonna know that you may be possibly getting a message from the lord it's when you are able to block out all the loud noise all the loud voices okay no distractions you ain't focus on what this person over here win you ain't focus on what this person over here is seeing you ain't focus on how this person over here is um trying to get your attention you don't have so many people trying to distract you hey come over here look at me um look 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 what i look what i did yesterday look where i went last month um look how much money i made this year look what kind of car i got look clothes i got on look at my makeup look at my hair look at look at my lifestyle look at my car um look at my plane i just bought a plane last year going around the world sewing messages into ministries and things like that and you study you trying to hear what the lord got to say and this person is in your ear trying to distract you that's what it looked like on social media. That's what it looked like with the spiritual warfare out here. It's too many people talking at once. Everybody want to be a doggone leader. Everybody want to be the chosen one. Everybody want to be the spiritual one. Okay. It's all type of competition and stuff going on out here. All this rhetoric. And then on top of everything that's going on with the spiritual warfare on social media, we got world crisis out here. People dying and submarine deaths. People just, it's just so much craziness going on in this world. Even with that, it's something where people have an obsession with tragedy. And that's one thing that you will notice too with the spiritual warfare. It's going to be so many traumatic things going on. It's either going to be one or the other. If you're going to have those people that's going to be solely focused on negativity and you're going to have those people that's going to be solely focused on catered messages, fool's gold, okay? And the one thing that's frustrating about all of this is people keep trying to throw the Lord in a mess, okay? It's a lot of greedy, prideful, arrogant kind of spirits out here, okay? These people started off believing in the Lord. This is why it's extremely dangerous to put your faith in man and not God, okay? It's because you'll have those people that started off where they, they were coming as a believer in the Lord and you really see it on their life, you know? You don't, and, and that's the tricky part about it. You don't know if it was a disguise or this was really who they was all along. You will see that they start getting these quote-unquote blessings. You will start to see that they lose their sight of the Lord and they start to become worldly. I keep seeing this whole thing of um, godly people having this godly kind of image to the point where it's idolatry people worshiping other people 
And it's just like the biblical days. It's like I said, we living in the biblical days in the Bible. Everybody turned away from the Lord and they started worshiping idols. All the Lord disciples were getting tired of steady giving messages to the people. Okay? They got arrogant. They got prideful. They got cocky. In a journey. They were supposed to be doing something for the Lord, but then they got sidetracked. They got big headed. You know, they got they got all these praises coming from all these different people because it's like, I'm a disciple, you know, I'm a messenger from the Lord. I'm giving all these words from the Lord. And where's my prayers? Where are my blessings? You know, I'm doing all this work. Therefore, I am God. That's the type of attitude and behavior people are taking on today with these quote unquote messages. Okay? They are giving off this godly can of spirit they are getting arrogant in their messages and in their ways their lifestyle all this praise and love and attention that they have been getting from other people is clouding their judgment and is destroying their purpose of why they came in the first place they're not giving the credit to the lord himself they're taking it and keeping it for themselves completely forgetting the fact that you wouldn't have the gift that you have if it wasn't for the lord himself Completely forgetting that fact. And then if you see a lot with these messages today, every time somebody put out something, they always got to try to place themselves higher up there, you know? And people don't, and see, this is the thing. People do it unknowingly. They don't know that that's what they're doing, okay? This ain't me coming to throw no stones or nothing because when people start out doing a certain thing, they start to get big-headed. A lot of times they don't be meaning for things to, to go the way that they go, okay? That's why you should never put your faith in men because we all make mistakes and we are not perfect. You know, we are all going to fall short of the glory of God at some point in our life. And this person, you could tell that they are falling short of the glory of God when they seem as though they are placing themselves higher than him. You know, all this lifestyle, this money, this image, these um, following idolatry. You can't slice it no other type of way. It's the only way I see it is when I see people worshiping other people, influences, okay, worshiping these other people as if they are some type of God. Y'all don't know this. That's idolatry. That's why every time I come on here and I come to talk about the Lord, I always try to give him credit for every single thing. I'm never coming on here trying to make it seem like I know it all. I just got all this knowledge. I just, I'm arrogant. Ain't nobody better than me. I'm the chosen one. I'm God and all this and that. Like, I ain't never coming on here with that type of energy because I know that the Lord himself deserves all the credit. He's just using me. I cannot take the credit for the Lord. Okay, I can't be coming on here acting like I'm the Lord. I'm just a messenger. That's it and that's all. <laughs> and see, when you get a message from somebody, I don't know if you ever um, felt like this before. Like whenever you get a powerful message from somebody and you feel like ex you feel extremely connected to the message, you feel like it's a humbleness about this person. Like I have got this from so many different people where they have a humbleness about them. It's not cocky, it's not arrogant, it's not I think I know it all, no type of thing. They really is coming to give you a message that they feel the Lord sent to them. And they just coming to share with you, to see if you relate with it, you connect with it. You see, the one thing I'm seeing about this idolatry online is people just trying to come across as if they humble and really they arrogant, okay? It's a lot of arrogance disguised as humbleness. A lot of these people are not humble. Okay, you can tell. You can tell they are not humble. They don't have a humble bone in their body. Because they worship material things way too much. Okay, they focus way too much. If you ever see a person that come online, they always talking about their possessions, things that they got, how much they pay for it. And you just notice that every time these people come to give you a message, they always seem like they trying to flesh, they trying to show off and stuff like that. That like basically just boasting and bragging. Like you did not come to give no message from the Lord. Like you literally came to brag about yourself, brag about your lifestyle and all that type of stuff. Then you throw the Lord in and talking about he bless you with this and he bless you with that. Nah, you want people to worship you because you think that you are God. That's what it really is. Okay. You didn't get so caught up. I'm worshiping the love and attention that you have been getting from people because you started off with a genuine intention, but it turned into arrogance all the time. And you see yourself slowly but surely falling short of the glory of God. A person know when they falling short of the glory of God. They know that they arrogance in a worldly ways is getting in the way of their purpose. They know that. Okay. But sometimes people just get so far in a arrogance. All that if you got thousands and millions of people following you 
and these people count on you this person look to you as if you are the answer to their life okay if this person count on you for every answer a problem to their life and they and it always seem like overwhelmed you got to answer people all the time you gotta you feel over obligated to help people because you feel like you're taking on the weight of the world the world problems and stuff like that problems that are not even your own you feel like you're just taking on too much at one time that is when everything stops and I don't even know what it's like to be in those type of shoes to have so many people count on me and following me like that. And to be honest, I really don't even want to know what that's like because I can't fix your life for you. I am not God. That, and see, that's the one thing people be getting caught up in. They be getting confused. I already know this had to go. Because if you got so many people counting on you, you may say something extremely powerful. It really don't have to have nothing to do with the Lord. It could just be any situation where you just give advice or something like that. Or you say something that is extremely powerful and it just carry you. It reach a lot of people. And then you will see that you are getting an overwhelming sense of obligation to people. Okay? You feel obligated to these people. Okay? And these people feel like... You owe them something, okay? And because they feel like that you owe them something, you got to keep constantly showing up. When really, all it should have been was, I can't fix your life for you. I can't answer your problems for you. You got to take that over to the Lord himself, okay? I did what I can do, but I'm going to have to step back and let him take the pool pee. Okay, he started off with the speech. I'm going to let him take the floor. I came and I gave my two little cents and did what I had to do. Now, it's time for me to turn it over to the Lord at hand, okay? It's time for me to turn it over to the big dog. Okay, the big dog is the Lord. And that's what people not understanding these days. They are here worshiping people. If you ever seen Passion of the Christ, and I think I seen, the, I remember the movie Prince of Egypt. I don't know if y'all ever seen that before. My grandmother was into religion heavily. So we would have a lot of God stories, God movies around the house. It was so many Bibles, so many movies. Like she would literally sit up there and make us watch this stuff. That's how I remember vividly. And the one thing I can say I remember from one of these movies is that it was a lot of idolatry. Tons of it. So many people worshiping idols. Idols and people. Idolatry don't even necessarily have to be a person. It can be a thing. Material possessions. Some people worship material possessions and things that they have. And see, one thing about me, because I had to learn my lesson with this. There has been so many times where I have lost out on certain things in my life. When I was younger and I was ignorant, I really didn't know no better. I wasn't as wise. I used to worship material possessions. And one thing I can say I always noticed was I would always lose everything that I had. Because I never gave my attention to the one person that mattered. I was always caught up on the latest labels and things like that. I, that that's just who I used to be. And every time I would notice, I would lose it. <laughs> And when I say I used to lose things, like I would lose so much all at once, like so much. And I never really understood, like I always was like, you know how you ever come across those certain times in your life so when you just stay, keep on losing things and you're not really sure why? The reason why you keep steady losing things and you are not able to keep things like material possessions and things like that is because you're not seeing the purpose behind your life. You are using these material possessions. You are idolizing these material possessions. And the Lord keeps saying, have no other gods before me. When you idolize some a person, place, or a thing, that becomes your God. He, the Lord says he is a jealous God. So he is going to take those things away from you when you are not seeing him fully. He's going to take those things away from you. Until so you realize the big message and the big picture behind why you keep steady losing things. Okay, you don't even necessarily have to be material possessions. And see, it's in confusion out here with chosen ones quote unquote y'all the chosen one thing i just keep hearing it's too much you ain't got no problem with the word but it just seems like people just throwing it around because it's popular and it sound good in the video and they know that it's gonna pick up a lot of views and followers so that's why they're using it in a video but you can literally click on certain people channels and videos and you can tell that they are not chosen at all okay we get ourselves into this mad state to where we are so godly to the point where we feel like we him okay that arrogance, when you feel like you have a message and you have a lot of knowledge, you can get arrogant in your knowledge. It's so many people out here that has knowledge and they get so arrogant to the point where they feel like they know everything and can't nobody tell them nothing. They not wrong about nothing, okay? They not wrong about nothing. And even the wise one needs to learn. You would know what you need to know if you wouldn't have been through what you've been through. And see, this is another thing too. 
people are picking up these terms and these phrases because they know that that's popular. It's buzz. You know, it's trendy. And they really not who they portraying to be. Okay, they throwing these labels on themselves and feel like it's going to be an abracadabra, um, magical kind of thing where they just going to automatically become God. Okay? Because they went online and heard 20 million different people say the same thing all over again. So they're going to come on and say the same thing everybody else has been saying. And people going to bite that and eat up on it because they got so many different followers. I already know my followers going to be feeling my message, what I got to say. Because I got thousands. I got followers about the boatload, okay? I know I really don't know much about this, but I know it's popular. I know I'm going to make some money. I know I'm going to get some followers. I know I'm going to get some views. I know I'm going to get that attention and that praise. I don't really care about that. The Lord gonna forgive me later for this, but this was hot right now, and I'm finna pick this up and run with it, okay? That's what's going on today, okay? It seems like popularity is more important than anything in this world. It seems like that's all people run after, crave, all that type of stuff. Don't nobody see the beauty in being different or authentic, true to themselves, okay? People don't have messages of their own anymore. They always copying and repeating everything that everybody else say. And it's confusing so many different people. That's why there's so much confusion going on out here in the world. It's so many people out here that just don't seem to have a man of their own. We don't need to keep listening to catering can the message, okay? We don't need to keep looking at people's laughs and just so in awe of them. When I come on social media, a lot of times it be seeming as though people are under some type of hypnosis. It's like everything that has been put in their brain has been washed out by everybody's thoughts, opinions, and all that type of stuff. And it's just so weird and scary to see. Like, you get on land, you sit up here listening to this person brag about how their life looks so good. And your life is going down the drain slowly but surely. And just because you didn't sit up and heard this person come on land, sprinkle a little glitter glitter and tell you something good, you automatically feel like you doing good. This person to hypnotize your man so much to the point where you feel like you're doing good in life just because you see them doing good. People are always trying to picture themselves as being somebody else other than they self. And that's another problem. They had somebody come hype their head up with all this BS, fool's gold messages. Like I said, things that sound too good to be true. And it's not fixing the situation that you're in. And see, when you hear me say fixing the situation that you're in, I'm not one of them type of people that want somebody to give me an answer to all my problems. But people honestly think that another human being has the power to change their life. Just offer some words, okay? This sweet talk, fool's gold can of messages, repetitive mess out here, it ain't no different than a dude that gained you. It's so many people out here that just have a gift of gab. And like I said, people are using their gifts, their God-given gifts, to do evil. And they didn't feel short of the glory of God that they fell off their purpose. The Lord allows us to make mistakes. But when you are in the lead of something and you got that spotlight on you, you got to be careful and choosy about how you're moving. Especially when you're carrying the Lord's name. On you. You got to do what the Lord calls you to do. It don't matter what the people think. It don't matter what the people want. You see, that's what people are getting confused about. People getting big headed from both sides of the spectrum. The viewer and the messenger, okay? Both sides. You let all these compliments, these comments, these likes, these follows, these subscribers get you big headed to the point where you have fell off your purpose. So many people have lost their way. And the dangerous thing about it is that they are leading a flock of people down the wrong direction. Okay? It's just like getting on that roller coaster ride. Really. A roller coaster ride taking you for the ride of your life down the road of destruction. This roller coaster is old, it's broken, it ain't been fixed in I don't know how many years. And you get on this roller coaster not even knowing that it's faulty. It's old. You get on this roller coaster not even knowing that some things need to be fixed on this before you get on it. You put your life in the hands of this roller coaster. Put your life in the hands of this submarine. Thinking that it's going to be able to protect you from harm. You put your faith in man-made things and you're not putting your faith in your belief in the Lord. 
you're not using your sound man. You too arrogant. You too, you think you know everything. And it's always gonna be destruction behind arrogance. It's always gonna be destruction behind idolatry. And then there's gonna be so many people that were believers that are gonna turn to non-believers because of people out here putting out false messages. Talking to talk, but not really walking to walk. Okay? Everything is about being seen now. If y'all notice, a lot of these videos are audios. I don't even make face-to-face -face videos as much as I used to. I mean, I like coming face-to-face -face because I like feeling like I'm connected to my audience. But this really is not all about me. This is not about me. This is about the Lord at the end of the day. Because the Lord is the person that gave me my platform. I'm not going to make this about me. This is not a me thing. This is a him thing and this is a we thing because we are a community. We trying to grow together. We trying to become stronger and closer with the Lord. At the end of the day, it's all about him. Can't nobody fix your life for you. It don't matter how many good messages out there that cater to your mind, that cater to your thoughts. There's nothing that's going to be able to fix the situation that you're in. It's going to take you, yourself, and the Lord himself to help you through your life. Nobody else can come fix it. They can fix it with sweet nothings, but it's not going to change the situation if you are not putting action behind it. You can't even follow your purpose and do what you need to do because you're listening to too many different voices. You're too distracted. These people kind of getting over on you, taking all your money, blowing your head up with this lifestyle and these full go sweet nothing messages. And you so distracted that you can't even live your purpose because you're too caught up on them. You're too busy um, idolizing them. You chasing after this perfect life that you will never get because you're giving it to the wrong person. You idolizing another person and the Lord speaks against that. You will never be able to get that perfect life it's, as long as you keep on idolizing and putting faith in men and not God. I'm going to cut the message short right here. I just kind of wanted to talk to y'all tonight. I may come back with another video if I feel led to give another message tonight. I will do it, okay? But all in all, give your faith and belief in the man above, okay? He comes first before everything. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.